if somebody was to tell me by the age of 11 your daughter is going to have a six-figure fashion brand she's going to be flowing all around the world to speak and she's going to change the world hi guys i am kirsten johnson welcome back to my subscribers if you are new here be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications of upcoming videos today to be here at Hanalei Studio and to introduce you to Hanalei Swan, who is a fashion designer, an international speaker, and a 12-year-old girl who lives here in Bali down the street from me. Mm -hmm. So Hanalei, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the work that you're doing right now? So I am a fashion designer, artist, author, and international speaker and I just want to be able to share my voice and inspire people. I have around three collections in my fashion, all either women's clothing or girls' clothing, and so I want to help empower and inspire women to do amazing things and that anyone, even a 12-year-old, can be able to accomplish their dreams. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey guys, so here we are at Hanalei's house. We're going to go inside and start to try on some of the outfits and get ready. Let's go. Hi! I'm Kirsten. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm blown away by the work that you're doing in the world. I'm blown away by your, your clothes and your and your designs and by the fact that you're already doing it at such a young age, it just blows my mind. And um, as I said before we started filming, my sister is a fashion designer and her daughter is about your age and wants to be a fashion designer when she grows up. That's amazing. So what would you say to somebody who is your age who has a dream in their heart? Um, <laughs> that you can really do anything if you put your mind to it and before you do anything you have to believe in yourself believe that you can do it and overcome that fear because a lot of us hold fear inside like from all the words as growing up like oh you'll never be able to do that you'll never be able to do anything um you're stupid all of that stuff it gets held inside of us and we, even though we don't believe it, it's in our back of my, our mind saying it. So what I would say is that you can do anything that you can believe. You have to believe you can do anything. And then being able to share your voice, talk to people around the world, talk and talk about what you love and inspire people. And so then like being able to create a dream team, find people, that can inspire, that can help you, that have gone through things that you you want to do, and then it's kind of a give back, helping. And I, when I was like maybe let's say eight years old, when I first wanted to start my fashion brand, I asked my parents for twenty dollars for thread, needles, fabric, and I started sewing all of these little keychains of these little food and I sold enough to make a hundred dollars to make my first prototype and so just by taking the willpower and taking the stand starting off small but then being able to go big I've been able to create this brand and you may ask how do you have this mindset like how did this come about when did you realize you wanted to become a fashion designer I was around maybe seven at the time my parents asked me, what do I want to be now, mm. instead of what do I want to be when I grow up? I want, to be a I want to be a clothing designer and have my own shop. You're only seven, but heck, you could do it really next year if you wanted to. Yeah. Think about it. You got so good about becoming a designer, do you realize you could do it next year? Do you know that? It was like giving me the permission to do something now that I had the willpower to change the world. I was able to do anything 
So I'm like, oh, I want to be an artist. I want to be author. I want to do all these things. And so then I finally found out what I wanted to do. I wanted to create clothing. I wanted to be a fashion designer. And so I asked them for $20. I was able, I continued that story. And so now I have this studio in Bali where I have a team of six working and making my clothing and it's amazing. So that's your dream team? Yeah, that's okay. my dream team. Okay, love it. Wow, there's so much that you just said in there. and still co what continues to help you believe in yourself. My parents, like I said, my parents asked me what do I want to be now and that gave me the permission to believe in myself, the permission to be able to start. And so how I believe in myself is I just do it. I just like to take action and say, yes, I can do this. I have the power. And it's amazing to have support like my parents saying, yes, you can. You just have to take the power, not care what anyone else thinks. She actually designed this when she was eight. Like it's, wow. She was designing these pieces when she was eight years old. Eight. That is the original drawing. This was the edit, so no chain, chiffon, right? So this is yeah. the, these are the ones that the Spice Girls got a reunion, the Spice Girls are doing the reunion show. Yeah. And how they sending them all pieces to wear at the reunion show. And just being able to do what you love and so. This is incredible guys. We are here at Hanalei's house with her family and all the ladies trying on her clothes, wearing the clothes we're going to wear in the show tonight, and we're getting ready to head to her studios. Come on, let's go for the fashion show. back about how we're always going to have voices come into our head that are maybe not kind like you can't do it it's not going to work out mm -hmm. why even try kind of things yeah so uh i assume you have those too mm -hmm. as i do as most humans yeah. do yeah, yeah. How, what do you do to navigate the fear or the doubt that comes into your head what is it what is it that you do to push past that i know it still sounds really weird it's just a lot of times when those voices come into my head um, I just have to take my deep breaths and ground myself. And I say this little chant every time before I speak. You're beautiful, you're amazing, you're going to change the world. You have a mission that is bigger than yourself, that is going to inspire thousands upon millions of people every single day. Because it's bigger than yourself and that you can change the world. You're going to empower so many people to live their dreams now because you can do it. And so I say that like five times every time before I speak when those voices start coming in and that just grounds myself and say, yes, I can do this. Most of the people who are watching this series are aspiring speakers or writers. They have a message for the world, but they might not actually be out there living it yet in a couple of steps behind you. So I'm wondering, uh, what advice do you have for aspiring messengers and speakers? So my three steps, I think I said this earlier, but it's always good to repeat it. My three steps are believe in yourself. Actually believe that you can do something amazing. Share your voice. Talk about it with other people and create a dream team. Find people that can help you. And for aspiring speakers, just either go on a little stage, go on with a couple of people, or even do a video. And so 
then when you're talking you can get used to it see how the crowd is see what people like and see what you want to do more and so for me um i would when I was young, I started speaking on my mom's stage for like a couple minutes. I would say, hi, I'm Hanalei, and like just a little thing, but it got me more confident around people. And growing up around a lot of people and around entrepreneurs, I've definitely lived in that space where I've grown up in a speaking area. I've grown up in finding your message and being able to get your words straight. And of course, I always talk with my mom about like, oh, what is my message? my message is being able to do that and then she'll say yes let's say that but maybe you can add something so, so being able to have a helping hand and someone who can listen to your speech and say yeah i really like that maybe you should touch more on your travels or something like that and so it's always good to listen back and see what other people think mm -hmm. before you speak on stage so yeah um tell us about your fashion show that you just had here so I had a fashion show around a hundred people came which was incredible I didn't even think anyone would come except for the models <laughs> and so it was just an amazing time it was for celebrating my birthday I just turned 12 years old Happy and so <laughs> thank you let's get started let's do it Turn the music out. So I was able to showcase all my new collections, including my first ever one and being able to speak on stage and talk about what my collections are and what I want to do. I love giving back and I want to be able to give back to the world around us. So um, I was talking a little bit about that, my giving back project. I give a school uniform for every piece of clothing I sell to a child in India because in places in poverty the families can't afford school uniforms and a school uniform is the ticket to education mm. and so when they don't have a school uniform it increases ma massive school dropout rates teenage pregnancy child workload and so what we want to do is inspire kids to do amazing things and having that ticket of education they can go so far in life and so i want to give back and i want to help more people less fortunate than us and being able to just help them and i even spoke at some of the schools when i was in india and talking about you can do amazing things now i believe in you like all that stuff in your fashion show you had the resort wear collection and the gala collection what yeah. inspired those looks so the first um collection which was the resort wear i want to make it for the woman who has who wants to stay at the beach all day but then is able to go to a party and still be dressed for the occasion it's super simple with amazing cuts that are super stylish and so it's for the person who's everywhere all the time every day and so just by able to wear something cool especially in bali like at a resort or something that's super breathable super flexible made with modal cotton which uses 50 percent less water than organic cotton and so basically cutting 750 gallons of water in half and so which is incredible and so super soft super stretchy and for everyday needs and then my second collection the gala collection i use amazing pea silks and chain each of them represent a different element so chain represents the strength of a woman being able to be held strong and then silk represents the flexibility the softness and so each of these having them combined they're all in a meaning in a different way and so i want to create 
a collection that's super beautiful, super elegant, and just everything a woman wants to feel empowered on the inside since a lot of us deal with self-doubt. And so by being able to unleash the inner beauty in the outside is just the most amazing thing and empower women to feel beautiful. I noticed that when I tried on your dress, it was super, well, I noticed right away it was really gorgeous and I tried it on. Through wearing your dress in, in, your, in your show and walking out with it on, I felt more confident in my body than had before I put the dress on. And it really has, um, it helped me come alive a bit. I just want it to be super stylish and super beautiful. And since we all have self-doubt, even though we don't say we do, we all have that little voice inside of us. <laughs> and so I want to be able to inspire women to unlock, unlock that inner beauty. It doesn't matter who we are on the outside. We are beautiful on the inside. And so I want to be able to make something that when someone puts it on, they feel beautiful when they really don't all the time. They feel beautiful and I believe that beauty is not our face, our features, how we look, it's how we act, it's how we feel. And if a beautiful dress can make you feel beautiful on the inside, you're, you're gorgeous, you're amazing, and that you feel so much more self-confident and being able to feel good about yourself and not care what people think. that you are a designer and I know your mom gave you permission now to be anything now but how did you uncover this talent and because um, it seems like you have this unique ability yeah maybe a God-given ability to to really draw and create fashion um, yeah. I'm not sure if that's how you see it but when I saw your I was like whoa blown away so how did you uncover or how did you work your buns off to yeah. to um, become the the woman the fashion designer that you are today um, so basically at the time, I just drew whatever I saw, I got inspired from whatever I seen, and I would just draw these people, I'd draw these outfits. And so, really, what happened was, one night after our power went out, we went to a hotel and sat in the hotel's restaurant. It was just, just two women there. I only fell asleep, it was like about like 10.30 at night. She goes, I'm a fashion designer. And Hanalei, out of the, out of the darkness, just goes... I'm a fashion designer too. Just wakes up out of the cold. And, Ooh, chills! Such yeah. crazy chills. I get chills every time ah. when I when I say it because it's crazy. And Rhonda and I were looking at each other, going, "Uh, what?" Like, it, and the woman goes, "Well, if you're a fashion designer, I bet you have your sketchbook on you." And the sketchbook that she had from when she was five or six years old. And she's like, oh really, if you're a fashion designer, you must have your sketchbook. I showed her my sketchbook of like, I don't know how many years. And the woman starts going like this. Looking through, looking through and she like turns up to us, looks at Rhonda and I, <gasps> and she goes, where did she learn this? And are these your drawings? It, it, we're like, what are you talking about? And she goes, these designs, these designs are amazing. Where did you guys go to learn, learn uh, fashion? I'm like, we have no idea on fashion. She goes, these designs are amazing. And she said, we need to make this a reality. We, didn't, we weren't really sure if the lady was just being really nice. Yeah. So we said, okay. And th and th we then saw these pieces though. We didn't see these. These are in her book hidden. And then ever since then, it's grown. <laughs> Yeah. And your parents were shocked, right? They, they didn't, thought they didn't, it. No. They thought it was doll clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She wore this in New York. She spoke on stage with this one a few times, but that's this one. <laughs> so um, her parents are not fashion designers, or at least they weren't when you first became one. They're <laughs> the opposite. They're marketers. <laughs> <laughs> So this is something that really came out of you and from you into the world? Yeah. Just by drawing, and I still doodle and draw to this day.
one message and one um, one thing that you wanted the people who are watching this to know when they go out into their world and um, the inspiration that they may hear from your story, what would you want to leave them with? What do you want to be now? Truly, you're able to be who you want and you can change the world. You have a spark, you have a power inside of yourself that is greater and bigger than yourself. And you can take action today just by being able to be you and feel confident, inspire more people in this world to be who they are. And just the best way how to live is just be yourself, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Way. It was so wonderful to meet you and talk to you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, I just, I love your work. I love what you're up to, and it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> It is so interesting to me that um, somebody who is designed this dress when she was 11 years old, she just turned 12 two days ago, um, is helping me come alive. And I'm feeling really grateful and this has been such an amazing journey so far. So is this talk, say one sentence to Hanale in the future. Great job. <laughs>